Well, hello, I'm David Freeman Webb. Is that really in the Bible? Question, was Jesus a humanitarian? Was Jesus a humanitarian? That is, a person committed to improving the lives of other people. Now, I think a lot of people want to believe that that's what Jesus was. In other words, it goes something like this. If I can just convince myself that Jesus was just a humanitarian, why, I can be like Jesus. That will make me like Jesus. If I can just convince myself that all he was was just a humanitarian. You know, I'll give the bum on the street $5, he's got a little sign, we'll work for food. I'll give him $20, you know. That will make, I'll be just like Jesus. I'll give to needy organizations. I'll work in a soup kitchen, you know. And uh, I'm all for making the world a better place to live, you know. I think a lot of environmentalists probably think they're like Jesus. They sort of, you know, they had this illusion that, that Jesus would have been an environmentalist, you know. He had been a tree hugger. You know, just trying to make the world all a better place and, and make sure everything's cleaned up. You know, that, that's the concept that a lot of people have. So in their mind, if I can just convince myself that all Jesus was was just a humanitarian, well, then I can be like Jesus. You know, C.S. Lewis said either Jesus was who he said he was or he was a lunatic or a madman. Now, who did Jesus say he was? Well, let me tell you. He said he was the son of God. Before Abraham, I am. That statement nearly got him killed. But he was talking about his pre-existence with the father that has gone on for eternity. In other words, the instrument the father used to create all things was none other than Jesus Christ. Yes, the instrument the father used to create all things was none other than Jesus Christ. The instrument that the Father has always used to interact with mankind has been Jesus Christ. So Jesus, listen, he was not a humanitarian. What did Jesus and Mother Teresa have in common? Very little, very little. Now, many people think that Jesus, that's all he was, was just a humanitarian. And that's what the church should be doing. The church should be going about, you know, trying to make the world a better place to live. That's the role of the church. You know, one time I, have, I put out on our church sign, you can't be Christian and pro-choice. And I got this nasty letter that was sent to me. Actually, it was placed on the doorstep of our church. And it was just ridiculing, you know, it was saying, well, you shouldn't be going about making statements like that. Your church ought to be about doing good deeds and good works and trying to help the poor and all this. In other words, the idea was you shouldn't speak the truth. Yeah, truth. You should just be about humanitarian works, trying to make the world a better place to live. You know, many people worship a false Jesus. A Jesus that just went around trying to make the world a better place to live. If Jesus were here, he would hand out condoms so that people can have safe sex. Uh, if Jesus was here, he'd work at a soup kitchen. You know, giving people soup. Yet the Bible says, if a man won't work, neither should he eat. That's what your Bible says. Well, if a man will not work, he shouldn't eat. You don't feed him if he's not working. Okay? In a way, you know, people... It's sort of, they even go as far as to say that Jesus was sort of like a socialist. That everything was just like a free handout. Sort of like big government, you know. Just go around and just, you know, just, just, you know, Jesus, if Jesus was here, he'd make sure everybody could go to college for free. Yeah. He'd make sure a sports car was in every garage. Now, if you believe that, let me tell you something. You are a buffoon if you believe that. You know nothing about the Bible. You know nothing about Jesus Christ if you believe that. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.